Sam Crack Cracks Component, Cobbles Cure Containing Clay, and 200 plus tales told weekly without waiver. All this and more, Print Fix Friday, episode 200. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, you might be part of the Sam Crack crew who saw our collaboration with the venerable Sam Crack, where we fixed this exact part on his BMW i8 utilizing 3D printing. But that tail is nowhere near over, at least for us, because it's still broken. We have a bunch of work to still do to make it right, then to make it out of carbon fiber nylon. If you haven't seen the video, we'll link to it down in the description so that you can go take a look if you don't know who Sam Crack is. He's a great local YouTuber who buys cars, fixes them, and ends up making a bit of fun with it. But he recently reached out to us because of a BMW i8. This vehicle, while has the billionaire doors, this one was far from billionaire spec. But the big issue with this vehicle is this little part. Let's take a watch. Mechanism comes right out of place. And right off the bat, I noticed that there's a little arm here on the side that's broken off. But if you move what's left of it in the right direction, it clicks. And now when we go to close our latch, it works. So this little tiny part with a very teeny tiny little ring on it is what actuates the mechanism for only the driver door in the i8. So many people were commenting, why don't you just take the passenger side out and mirror it? Because German engineering. But see, the nice thing about this is we're not gonna sell this. We're going to fix it. We're gonna 3D print it. And then we're going to give away the files. So stay tuned if that's the kind of thing that you wanna see. And who knows, maybe we'll see if Florida man here can actually tow a vehicle with a bicycle. I think it's possible, but this is a common issue in vehicles. I'd like to know from you all in the comments, have you ran into plastic parts in your car that have broken that are basically impossible to find? The manufacturer is gonna charge you way too much money or simply you just don't wanna buy an entire assembly for one freaking part. We'd love to work with other creators that do this kind of thing where they have vehicles with broken parts that we can repair. This is a perfect use of 3D printing. And yes, the 3D scanners that we used were expensive. A couple of people figured out what we used. The two scanners were the Matter Inform 3, which is currently on sale for $1,500 as of recording this video. There's an affiliate link down below if you do want to support the channel. Then the other scanner is an Artec Spider. Those run about $25,000. And I get it, using a piece of technology that costs almost as much as the vehicle is kind of dumb, but smoke them if you got them. Not a single one of you is going to disagree with that. So why two scanners then? Part of when you're going on site to do work like this, whether it's your own vehicle or somebody else's, you can't deal with needing to go all the way back home to get the right things to go all the way back. Any of you that have made a trip to the auto parts store for the third time in one day, I'm not calling myself out, nor am I calling any of you out, of course, know what this pain feels like. So we bring way more gear than we need. But this part is more complicated than you might think. A lot of people said, oh, just use calipers, use calipers, use calipers, which would make perfect sense. But this part is way more intricate than you might think. Some of that detail there, while not entirely necessary for 3D printing, if you're using calipers, you kind of have to measure it. And with all these odd compound curves, I really didn't want to sit there with a pair of Mitutoyus for a few hours while we took a chance. It's easier to use a scanner, especially when you have one. And we recognize that not everyone has access to this tech, and that's why we want to work with you, the community, to do more pieces like this. If you happen to be a car YouTuber, even better if you happen to be in the state of Florida, I'm looking at you, Cletus McFarland, Tavarish. There's quite a few big car YouTubers that live in Florida because we are the land of irresponsibility these days. But I know that there's more than just the YouTubers out there that have broken parts they want fixed. So what we are going to do is we are going to work with you guys, the community, at least once a month where we find a broken part for a car that can help many people out there 3D print it and release the files completely for free. So if you have a vehicle with a broken part and happen to be a content creator watching this, hit us up. And if you're not a content creator, let us know what vehicles you'd like to see parts for 
and we'll see about getting some pieces in. Mind you, you have to have a good piece for us to be able to work on it, or it has to be simple enough where I can mold it out of Play-Doh. So what's the fate of this ill-gotten BMW i8 door latch part? As Marty might say, it's gonna go in the bin. And we're going to replace it with a much stronger part that will have a larger hoop around it. We can see here that Sam found one with the good part on it. Look at how small that hoop is. There is so much room in that door. The hoop does not need to be anywhere near that size we can add a lot of meat around the outside round the outside round the outside and be able to make it stronger than factory thereby making a better part and then giving it away to you all in the community yes for sam's video it was only made out of petg it's what he had available but ultimately it did work even though you could definitely see the stress lines later on in the video we can see those stress marks right there. And that's just from the stress required to move this entire mechanism. This is way over complicated for no valid reason. It's a BMW. And many of you might point out that Fuse 35, he definitely should have checked, but... Cat, I was there. It was a magnet. You know how this works. But props to Sam. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of this and hopefully it's not the last time you guys see us on the sam crack youtube channel but if you do want to see us do more car repairs because my daily driver is a 2002 honda accord with the v6 it is the original v-tech it does have the original transmission at 188,000 miles and absolutely could use quite a few 3d printed parts so let me know in those comments below but if you happen to be a loyal fan of the channel you know that my name's grant this is 3d musketeers and print fix friday where we help you get your printers back to printing with purpose whether you have decided that you just now need a 3d printer because you saw it on a big youtuber or you've had a 3d printer for a while we recognize that there can be frustrations with 3d printing we don't like that kind of thing and i've been doing this for over 15 years want to help you make sure that your machines run well unlike Sam's i8. And unfortunately, there isn't generally an OBD2 code reader that you could just plug right into your 3D printer and it will tell you what's wrong. You got the next best thing. You got Grant. <laughs> Even I can't keep a straight face for that. But what I'd like to bring up here is that it has been almost two years, never missing a week in 200 episodes. I wanna give a huge thank you to everyone for being a part of this, whatever this is. It's been a big deal. We have a fun one coming up for 208. And don't worry, we have a really interesting update for you coming on the Etsy drama where Etsy changed their terms of service and could verifiably end 3D print farms on Etsy as we know it. But there's a really, really cool update to this and I think you all are really going to enjoy it. Make sure to get subscribed, leave a like on the video, and let us know if you think you have an answer to this Etsy problem, what you think could be done about it. Because of course, we did talk about it on previous Print Fix Friday, which we'll card to so you can take a look. And I know that we have helped hundreds, if not thousands of you. So thank you for sticking with us throughout this whole thing. And know that yes, the entire video as to how we fixed the BMW i8 is coming, but the final part is it with Sam yet? We're making some extra changes to it. We're printing extra prototypes. And then we're going to do the full part. And when it's done, we will post it to our printables page, which we'll link in the description down below as well. And if you are looking for the best first 3D printer, let us know. Maybe it is time to do another roundup of kind of the affordable 3D printer market. Sam used his Bamboo X1 Carbon and we are gonna use our Bamboo X1 Carbon to do the work because, well, Bamboo's sponsoring Sam. So we're gonna help him out there, but they may not be the best choice for every maker out there. So if you do wanna see a rundown of affordable 3D printers, especially if you wanna get some that can make parts that can go in your car, including dealing with the crazy hot Florida sun that we have here, let me know we'll make sure to put a little roundup together for you. But if you do want to support the efforts that we do here by reverse engineering car parts and making them better so that you can make them yourself rather than having to shell out money that you definitely want to spend on the next project car by lowballing people on Facebook Marketplace, you can do so by joining Patreon, PayPal, YouTube channel members at the $10 tier and how you get to come hang out with myself and the entire 3D Musketeers crew in our private Discord server where we'll be showing off the entire process for making this part 
well before it goes live on YouTube. But I do want to give a huge thank you to all of our channel member supporters whose names are listed right next to me at the $5 tier and higher. Thank you for making videos like this possible. Without you all, we would still be a business because the last time that Sam reached out to us was when he was working on one of his pizza cars and we had just barely started our YouTube channel. So instead of being able to work with a really cool creator and being a creator, we would have just had to charge him money. I think it's a lot more fun to build relationships. So thank you to all of you that enable things like this to be possible. And if you like it, don't worry. There's a lot more coming to this saga, and I'm sure there'll be future sagas as we continue to move, especially when we look at some of those larger car YouTubers outside of the state of Florida. I'm looking at you, Heavy D. We could have a lot of fun on that scrapyard, junkyard war style video series you're doing. Just saying. But as we've said here well over 200 times, stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. But take a look at this part, right? Drops it on the keyboard.